everyone, it's me, Pete Air, and today I'm going to kick a strong nation by Zumba workout. I'm the creator of Hit The Beat and so many people compared Hit The Beat to Strong Nation and today I'm going to check if the people are talking just shit or they're really honest with me and it's really almost the same workout. I did Strong Nation eight years ago, like just five minutes and I really did not like it. Let's see if I'm still not liking it or maybe something changed. So this workout, what I'm going to kick right now, I never did before. I don't know what's going to happen in the next minutes when I'm, when I'm going to kick this workout. In the end, I'm going to tell you what I liked about the workout, what I don't like about the workout, how I felt about the workout, and I will compare it to hit the beat. I'm going to show all the things that are different or maybe equal. So now let's start. But before we start, if you want to see if Hit the Beat and Swung Nation is the same or not, please watch both videos. I linked the Hit the Beat workout and the Swung Nation workout below this video and then you can compare it by yourself and don't just listen to my opinion. I think that's the best thing that you should do. Let's go. Okay. 
your hips. You're gonna swivel to the side into a pike. Ready? Let's go. Swivel into a pike. Heel towards the floor. Stay low with your hips. Good. Some mobility, stretch. Combine with strength. Now, if you wish, side kick through here into pike. Try to touch that toe if you want to reach.
you are a sports scientist, you have to work on your muscles, strength, nothing right now. Just coordination. Hier sind schon 15 Minuten, kannst du schon auf.
Now we are done. I needed to record this video one more time because we forget the sound in the workout before. So now I want to tell you what I feel and think about Strong Nation, about this workout and we start what I like. So what I liked about it is the trainers, they motivate, they execute all the exercise very well. That's great, but that's all. I did not like the workout at all. I don't like any other stuff. I did not like the music. It's too fast, too quick, too stressful. Not my type. I really did not feel confident. The moves are not cool, are not fresh. Maybe the kick, I felt like, okay, that's nice. But all the other stuff, I did not like it. I don't feel confident. I don't had fun. Mm. It was not a challenge. I also did not like that it's not a challenge for myself. I don't feel any pump, not in my legs, not in my arms. I did not like that it's not a holistic workout. It's an endurance workout, that's it. And where you focus on your legs a little bit, but that's all. This I did not like. Um, yeah, too stressful. Also the type of the music, I don't like this hardcore techno stuff. It's too deep, too fast. This I also did not like. I did not like the exercises. Actually, almost everything I did not like. Sorry for that. I have to be honest. In the end, you can decide by yourself if you want to do that workout or not. And now let's compare it with Hit the Beat. So what's the difference? Almost everything. I'm so happy I did this workout. Now I really know that we are talking about two different workouts. That's crazy. It's even not possible to compare those workouts. Let's start. Hit the beat is a high intensity interval training. This is not a high intensity training. Strong is just endurance. Stamina, endurance, that's all. And of course coordination, but it's not a hit workout. So the hit, the beat workout is way more intense. Then it's not holistic. Hit the beat is a holistic workout where you work out the legs, your core, shoulders, upper body, and here you just work on your legs and coordination. Then in hit the beat, when you do the workout, you really feel a pump in all those muscles, legs, core, arms, upper body here, not at all, just the legs. Then one difference is the music. They work maybe with 120, 130 BPM, way too fast for me. Maybe you saw it with the plank jacks, it's way too quick. It's not like I cannot feel it. I cannot work on my body awareness. I cannot enjoy it. It's just quick, 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 quick. And we work with 100 BPM. So it's way more easier to understand the exercises, to execute the exercises. Then one very important thing is, I did not fail to move to the beat, actually. I did not feel it and hit the beat. It's way more easier to come in the flow. Then one big difference is the warm up and hit the beat. We really take time. We mobilize all the joints here. It was way too quick and not a good real warm up. I even get not warm through all the workout. I did not sweat. So one big difference is like that. I did not sweat and hit the beat. I'm always sweating. Then the exercises very different. Maybe there was just a kick in. This exercise, what is also part at the hit the beat workout, but that's all. All the punching, kicking stuff, we don't have this kind of stuff in hit the beat. So the exercises are way more different. So like you see, there's nothing that is equal, nothing at all. So in the end, I just can say that I don't like Strong Nation it's too, yeah, I don't know, for my body, it's too easy, too cheap, it's, there's no progress. I, I did the workout and I, I don't feel I did something for my body. I have to be honest, so there are so many things that are different. All the exercises also don't feel it cool. Like I feel a little bit unconfident and like funny with some movements. And one big difference is in Hit the Beat, we really work on with one exercise to progress you know, the movement, to progress the 
muscle mind um, connection, everything for a little more, more time. So you can progress because you cannot progress when you do a squat jumps four times. It's impossible. You cannot progress when you do um, the skaters for 60 seconds. It's impossible. You will not make progress. You need a longer period of time for each exercise. So that's also a very big difference. I can just compare this workout now. I didn't do more. But like you see, there are so many different stuff. And if you want to experience and compare both workouts, the only thing what you can do is do both of them by yourself. And then you're going to realize that it's two different worlds. Hit the Beat is way more innovative, way more holistic, way more easy to follow as a coach, as a student. Um, the music has way more swag, hip-hop style than this hardcore electro. So there are so many differences. You will hit the beat, you will realize it's more challenging, in my opinion, way more fun. So now it's up to you. Feel free to try both workouts. That's it from my side. If you're interested in the certification, book a call. You can call with me. We can check if this is a workout that you like. Try our app for, and then you can try out all our workouts and then compare it by yourself. Thumbs up, like this video, comment your thoughts below. Maybe you had the same thoughts when you did both workouts. And now wish you all the best. Peace, Pete. Five, six, seven, eight.